technical analysis with the bullish Harami candlestick chart pattern, which in this case is not very bullish even though it has the correct structure. Part of the obvious reasons are selling volume is still quite high and both candles are red, making it more neutral than bullish. In addition, the following candles immediately close consecutively below its low. But not long after, there is another bullish Harami, this time with more advantageous neutral to bullish conditions. The second candle is a thicker green doji, selling volume has decreased, while buying volume gradually increases, as price doesn't continue dropping near the low of the pattern, but instead there are consecutive closes quickly closing above the high of the bullish harami. Though in the broader context, this is turning out just to be a bullish retracement within the ongoing downtrend. A rapid drop back to the 850 range of the bullish harami upswing point, where an even more bullish harami candle pattern immediately forms. Closing prices quickly and steadily keep moving above the high. It's a row of green candles of course, with longer lower wicks indicating weakness in pushing price back down, which overall makes up for the relatively low volume. And perhaps most importantly, the second candle is a dragonfly doji, which provides a more neutral to bullish feature to the second half of the pattern. Later, longer term bearish sentiment prevails and price falls back down to the same range, which certainly remains a great reference for support which can still temporarily slow down a drop in the case persisting selling pushes price below $8, which results in this area reversing rolls to present resistance. Sometimes the bulk or all of a potential bullish reversal range can be defined by the price range of one large red real bodied candle that essentially leads to a large harami that mostly confines price within a relatively flat and sometimes volatile range. In general, support ranges can be defined near the close and low prices of such large red candles. Often candles will form open high low and close prices near these levels. Basically a larger and more extreme form of the neutral to bullish sentiment summarized by the two candles of a bullish harami pattern, which can kick off a larger uptrend once price goes above the high of the harami and or the wider bullish reversal range. In this case it's the wider bullish reversal range since the harami defines most but not all of the range. Some haramis here but they're in a downtrend so they're in a bearish reversal to bearish continuation context. A familiar bullish harami setup, in this case the second candle also has elements of an inverted hammer, but no bullish advantage is gained since the following candle bearishly engulfs it and closes below the low of the entire harami. But right after, another harami forms. Two red candles, but still the structure of a harami. The second candle also has inverted hammer characteristics, and this time it's the opposite, where the candle is bullishly engulfed. Price steadily advances over the high of the bullish harami, but overall volume is low as price rises for just a moderate retracement within an established downtrend. The next example begins with a similar situation, except the upswing from this harami has normal to slightly above normal bullish volume, which does have a noticeable impact in slowing down longer term bearish sentiment. Like normal, the support range that now reverses rolls to present resistance can be quickly defined around the lower portion of the harami especially near the bottoms of the real bodies. In this case, the closing price for the first candle and opening price for the second candle. The next example demonstrates how the larger red candles in three methods falling price action can blend in to be the first half of bullish harami patterns to mark a relatively rapid shift from bearish to neutral to bullish sentiment. As usual, there can be more bullish sentiment concentrating near the bottom portion of the harami, and even though there are eventually two consecutive closes below the entire range, they show bullish characteristics of a bull hammer and inverted hammer, and a good portion of their price ranges stays in contact with the support range, so the drop under these three levels isn't as bearish as it first seems. In fact, things quickly develop more bullishly, with a bull hammer and bullish kicking pattern soon appearing, to add similar elements like a morning star as well. 
Although priced as rise back up, it quickly drops again and forms another harami, resting right on the support range. So the market is still indecisive, but there are leanings towards more bullish developments since this entire support range has technically held several times now. Indeed, a more substantial uptrend does take off. Over here, another harami not too different from what we've seen before. Unlike this one, which has the second candle, form as a gravestone doji, but in this situation, it is more similar to an inverted hammer in theory making the harami slightly more bullish, which right now is only significantly slowing down the continuing drop in price. So there's heavy pressure on the boundary around $20, but it's still holding, especially now with another harami sending price on this continued flat to bullish trajectory, which certainly isn't developing into a major uptrend, but can still contribute to a noticeable delay of the established downtrend.